that didn't work out too good. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Yes, gotcha. welcome. <laughs> this week, we are got the buffet show. Buffet. We've got a little bit of everything going on. We've got whitetail and hogs Swine. and turkeys. And... <sighs> it's like Ralph with an S in front of it. Swine. This week's lucky logo is Beeman. Beeman's baby. That's right. Yes. Watch Beeman's the Beeman baby. logo at the end of the show. We'll tell you what to do with that. Beeman's Win some stuff. Baby. Yeah. Yep. And the first hunt up. Whitetails, SWD, we're trying to cure it, but guess what? There is no cure, you just gotta get out there and do it. Okay, so should we just go hunting? Yeah, let's just go let's hunting go. for the Buffet Show. Buffet. Well, it's October 29th, it's about 53 degrees. We got a west-northwest wind here today. Uh, perfect setup, Dean and I just moved to stand about two weeks ago. Um, a lot of activity on the cameras over there. Um, Dean saw a couple busted up bucks the other day, so we're bringing some antlers with us. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna get something in today. Got a couple, good two, three, nice big mature bucks on camera, so let's see what we can do. sign when you come down you find your arrow like this a lot of good blood on here <laughs> smells good look at that right there right here 
Irish got some blood. Yeah, there's blood. Blood. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Alright! <laughs> what a nice deer. Look at that little kicker on there. Nice buck. Nice and wide. Look how wide he is in there. That's a heck of a deer. I think this weekend something good's gonna happen. There's a buck. Well, we had customer number one, two, and three come through. Number one was a shooter, but he was about 100 yards out through the thick stuff. We couldn't get any film of him. He was definitely a nice deer. Then we had two small bucks come in the field and got two little red guys behind us. So, freaking awesome night. It can't get any better. A doe coming right to us, so we're gonna get real quiet real quick. Keep your fingers crossed, maybe we'll have a nice buck come through. We saw a shooter here last night, just a little out of range, so we changed location, so. Here she comes. There's a buck. As soon as he walks past this tree. Eh? Ah, oh, big Illinois bruiser. Look at that rascal. Holy cow. Well, I said it before and I'll say it again. November 12th, ruts and going crazy. The deer are running all over us. We sat across from this field last night. I'm pretty sure this is the buck I saw last night, but I'm not 100%. So this morning we sat up in a, a, a stand right where I thought this rascal was coming through and uh, the guy put us right where we needed to be. Tina knew exactly what she was talking about. You want to kill a big deer like this, come to Eagle Lake Outfitters in Illinois. Pike County 
there's no other place in the world to be during rut and uh, we're fortunate enough to be here. Look at this deer, holy cow. We just heard a gobble or multiple gobbles just boom right at once and then we could hear the drumming. Now let's change gobble. pace and gobble. Gobble. Go after turkeys. Gobble. Kansas turkey season, bow only portion. Uh, Kevin and I, we decided to go up to a food plot, clover plot that we have. <laughs> what we have here is a situation where the birds don't winter there. And as of April 1st here in 2011, the birds were still grouped up. And we didn't know how many birds would be on this particular piece of property. Here it comes as 1130 and up over the hill down a two track road coming towards the clover plot is two birds. They were both hens, one of them was a bearded hen. Which is a legal bird in Kansas to shoot. And we got set up and I draw, drew back and took a shot at that hen and that didn't work out too good. <laughs> and an hour later, um, me and Harley were just sitting there and just right outside the blind. Couldn't have been 40 yards away we just heard a gobble or multiple gobbles just boom right at once and then we could hear the drumming. Between the three toms, me and Harley had picked one out that I could get the camera on that he could shoot and it happened to be a strutting bird facing away from him which was, was a perfect opportunity. We knew early season with these birds grouped up the way they were, that it was a possibility that we could double up. So um, I grabbed his bow and he helped me out. He knocked the arrow, all that. I grabbed his release, put it on. We switched camera and bow and right out there is uh, my bird that came back to the bird that he had shot and was like they do, just messing around with them. So I let the birds move around to where I had a, a clean shot at just one bird. That's a, way to, that's a way to recover. Oh, uh, yeah. A miss will miss. sting a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now it's not so bad. What miss? Yeah, I don't yeah. remember the miss yeah. now. It was good stuff, man. Because we're going to take some good photos and get these loaded up and <laughs> send some picture messages and <laughs> all that. Congratulations, you man. You too, man. Awesome. Me and Harley got to celebrate and we did our recoveries. We took pictures and um, that's just going to be a day, April 6th, that. Uh, will last in my mind forever. We closed the distance to about 30 yards on, but needed him to turn, and, and he just never gave us the angle and, and took off. So I arrived in Florida, I got off the plane at four, I was down to Hoppy's house by five, 5.30 or six, something like that, ate dinner and went went straight out, went hog hunting. We're at Osceola Outfitters in Florida, hunting with Ralph and Vicky for Archer's Choice. Uh, quick flight out from Salt Lake, quick drive down the highway, and now we're gonna go hog hunting, so here we go. Closed the distance to about 30 yards on, but needed him to turn, and, 
and he just never gave us the angle and, and took off. And so we all felt pretty bad about that because he was a good boar and we weren't sure we'd have another shot at a big boar. So the next morning we uh, got up early and picked right up where we left off the night before and uh, headed back out looking for pigs. Just as it was starting to get kind of late and kind of warm, thinking the morning hunt might be over, uh, we came across a group of pigs. There were a couple small boars, a bunch of sows, and we weren't seeing much else in the group, but uh, so I picked out a good sow and, and uh, stuck an arrow in her. And she ran around and, and went in this clump of trees and uh, she spooked out a big boar. And when the big boar came out, uh, Jimmy, my guide, said, you know what, we, we've got to shoot him too. He's just too good of a pig and we got we got to shoot him. really nice boar and they came out and I shot him but I hit him far back so he, he split off he went and hopefully he's just gonna lay down over there in those trees we're gonna see if we can get a dog out here and track him and but for now we'll go find the other one first one I shot Hey, what a better way to spend a mid, mid July day, huh? Here at Osceola Outfitters in Florida. I've always wanted to hunt down here with Hoppy. The country is just incredible, from palm trees to palmettos to cypress trees, everything. And uh, finally got on some hogs this morning, shot this sow at uh, 45 yards. She didn't run but 30 yards. And then uh, then a bigger, a big boar came out. So we end up getting an arrow on him too. We'll see if we can find him in a few minutes, but uh, what a great hunt. Just been out a few hours this morning, seen plenty of hogs, and, and finally made a connection. So the, the big boar ran in the swamp, and we didn't want to go in after it. It was just too hard to track in the swamp. So uh, we called Hoppy, and he brought his dogs out. And that in itself was, was a great adventure, being able to see those dogs go after that hog. It was only a few minutes, and they had found, found the big boar, and, and uh, we were able to have a little celebration, get the big boar out of the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smoke! Look at that. I was wondering, wondering why they weren't barking. <laughs> now we know. Lay in here dead. Nice. Look at that. Cutters on this guy. Woo! Ah! Thanks, Hoppy. Good job. Good job, Jimmy. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Now you know why we went and got the dog to help That's track right. in this swamp. Yeah, there's no way you found it. No way you'd have found this guy. Uh, it's been a real treat to be down here for a few days uh, with Ralph and Vicky and the Posse and with Hoppy and uh, Osceola Outfitters and, and the whole gang. So uh, it's been, a, it's been a, a really pleasing experience, a lot of fun. <laughs> That was cool. That was really cool. Lots of different things well, going it, down. And that's what it's about. You try to seize the moment and the moment could be hogs, turkeys, deer, bear, moose, caribou, whatever. Whatever, elk. It's a buffet. That's right, it's a great buffet. If you happen to see the Beeman logo this week, which was the Lucky logo, yes, you need, Beeman's to, baby. you need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky logo button, fill out the form, give us information where you saw that Beeman logo, and someone's gonna win some great Beeman carbon arrows, baby, and, and some, some other, other cool stuff. stuff. That's right, next week? Next week, guess what? We're hunting at home. Back home, Illinois. That's right. White SWD, Vicky, I, and you never know who else, and we're really? gonna have fun. That's right. Oh yeah. Yes, we're gonna try to tag out. Yep. Can you can you can you handle it? No, I can't. It's really exciting. Thanks for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time, same channel, right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.